It's Good Friday. I remember Bishop Sean always saying, I'm not so sure what's good about it. <laughs> and I think that uh, today I'm feeling the same way. In my reading of the uh, Week of the Passion from Jill, Amy Jill Levine, uh, her book on um, the Passion Week, she brings up a really interesting uh, focus, which is that of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane before, before his arrest, before his trial, before his torture, before his crucifixion, before his death. And she talks about how important it is that we recognize that Jesus takes a moment to pray for himself, that Jesus asks God to take the cup from him, following up, of course, with, if this is your will, then let your will be done. And Jesus prays for himself. Jesus takes a moment in the midst of all of this, knowing all that he's done and knowing all that he's about to go through. And he says, God, I, I just want you to take this cup away from me. I don't really want to have to go through what I know is coming next, but your will be done. In my prayer life, I spend a lot of time praying for others. I try to remember where everybody sits in the church and I try to pray for everybody by name, or at least by face. <laughs> I try to pray for all the people in the compartments of my life. I pray for all of my Playhouse friends who are experiencing a great deal of anxiety and challenge at this time, facing, with, facing it with amazing resolve, of course. I think of my Gannon community, my school, my students, my colleagues, those who work in and around Gannon whose faces I do not know and whose work I only see evidence of. I think about our city, our community, and I find myself praying for all of these individuals and all of these communities and all of these aspects of my life. But I don't always take the time to pray for me, to take the time to say, how am I doing? How am I facing the challenges and anxieties of my life? How am I praying for strength to do things that I don't necessarily want to do or find myself capable of doing. And so I'm inspired by this moment of prayer for self that Jesus offers. And so I guess I'm inviting us today on this Good Friday, as we commemorate Christ's passion and death, we take the time to also pray for ourselves for the challenges that we might be facing at this moment, for the anxieties and fears that we have, for the illnesses and the illnesses of those close to us and the desire and hope that we can have the strength to help them carry on. We can pray for ourselves as healthcare professionals who are reaching out to others and know that, they're, know that we're facing whatever challenges we're facing in the moment. We can pray for ourselves as civic leaders who are going to help this community and, uh, and our institutions to recover from a very challenging spring. None of us want to be where we are. None of us want to be held up within our homes. None of us want to be away from our work. None of us want to be away from our colleagues. But that's where we are. I hope that you'll take the time to pray for yourself, for your strength, for your wellness, for your trust in God's providence. And then, of course, pray for others. Blessings.